Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, I'm gonna react to Falling in Reverse. This album is finally coming to an end with this last song, but you guys have been hyping the song up, so I'm really excited for it. And it's five minutes long. I hope I hope it's a good outro. I'm expecting it. I'm expecting it to be really good, honestly. I'm really expecting it. Before we get into this reaction, you guys already know what it is. We're more than just reaction, so I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button, become a part of this journey. Taking on 2020 full force road to 1k subs. Let's get it. Eden falling in reverse before we get into this as well. Follow me on Instagram. Link is down in the description. No future comes out at midnight. I'm so excited about that. And also Justin Bieber's album Change this comes out on midnight. So I'm trying to figure out how to format the next two weeks of like reactions. Because normally I did like one a week and then I got really sick. So I've been doing two for the past like week, two videos a day. Um, but with these two albums coming out, I want to react to them like every single day. But should I put a pause on the other reactions or do I try and just up the content and do three videos a day? I know it's like pushing it and yeah, it's just going to be a lot on you guys, um, a lot for you guys. Um, so let me know what you guys think of that idea of doing three a day or just do two a day. Pause the other reactions. Um, until I finish those albums. Let me know. All right, let's get this started. Eden falling in reverse. We got him walking again. Sounds like, you know, something's being played backwards right here. So listen here, Alright guys. I don't know if I'm prepared. I really don't know if I'm prepared for this. I really don't. I don't know if I could handle it, like, mentally. Am I in the right mental <laughs> space <laughs> to handle this song? I don't know. So listen here, I always in your head And I can't say the words to make you feel scared So here's to you and all the problems that we have made And I know it's so hard to stay afloat When you make monsters out of thoughts No, guys, right now. It's already been two minutes, dude. <sighs> Frick. Right now, I'm literally so immersed in his voice and the music. I'm really not even, like, hearing the words right now. I'm not even joking. And, like, I'm trying to focus on it, but, like, hearing it, it's, like, all I want to, like, listen to is his voice and the music. So it's really hard for me to focus on um any lyrics right now um so that will come with like a couple listens through and yeah so if you guys are looking for like a deep analysis it's just it i can just tell it's probably not going to happen with this song afterward i'm gonna rewind it a little bit become your fears because you can say you're mm.
you know Mmm That minor. And I am still voice in your head. And I'll be there for you when no one else cares. And this is it as far as well we've got since So no, I got the thing and you got it. I hope you know. It's just music the rest of the time, I really won't mind. I love... Just play out the rest of the way. Oh, he finally stopped walking. Wow. Falling in reverse. I'm sad. I'm just sad the album's over. Really sad the album's over. But we have no future coming out tomorrow. <laughs> so that's going to be amazing. I hope you guys realize what I did. Um, you know, with the timing of releasing this, my reaction to this album leading up to No Future. Because a lot of you, you guys like are requesting things and you guys probably get annoyed and you're like, oh, when is this coming out? Like we've been requesting this for a while. What I did was, you know, I lined it up perfectly so that it just led right into No Future. Um, so yeah, just know that I have all this in my hands um, and that I really do think about what I'm going to be reacting to next. Like I really like, I, I try to strategize it as much as I possibly can, um, for the betterment of, for this channel and for you guys. Um, sometimes it's okay to be patient and wait. Um, but in terms of the song falling in reverse, I really liked how simple it, it actually was he really didn't do too much with like the music and he didn't do too much with like with changes in like in the song it was just basically the same chord progression throughout the whole song and then eventually added like a little bit of violin um and yeah it just it created an atmosphere it's just really pretty um and yeah i really liked the vocals like the first like half of the song especially before like the drums came in and like the crashing of glass before that came in 
just his vocals it's like mm, i can't i can't even explain it but you guys probably know the feeling you guys love the song as well um but in terms of the album i guess i'll get i'll give a quick album review uh <laughs> at the very end of this video so this is right on the spot so i haven't thought about this too much honestly um quick out of 10 i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 in terms of yeah just an overall view of the album um highlights of the album i'll say start and end if it was on this album i think that was on this album start and end i think i reacted to that like a while ago and it's part of this album um so start and end and also wings those are my two like top songs from the album wings my is probably my favorite song on the album i thought wings was just absolutely incredible um i think there were times in the album being like completely honest where it felt like a, a teeny bit slow but when it started to feel that way he immediately like the next song or in that song would uh would change things up and you know spice things up a little bit and that like you know kind of um counteracted those like dull moments of the album and I'm not just saying that because maybe some of you probably think I just like like hype music and, and stuff like that. But I really don't. I really like um, slow, melodic music that's just like really beautiful and really pretty. Um, but there, I guess there comes a, a point in an album sometimes where it gets like you feel like it's too much of that and you just want like things to change a little bit. But I feel like every time it started to feel like that, he like just changed it right away and yeah so solid eight out of ten maybe like an eight point like five eight point five out of ten um but yeah i'm really excited for no future i i think no future for me i'm gonna like that like that might be like a 10 out of 10 album from what i've heard so far in the singles that's like every song is right up my alley love death distraction that was like one of my favorite songs that eden's ever done Everything that was released, Untitled, Iso Hell, everything has been like phenomenal. And I'm I'm really, really excited about that. That comes out at midnight. I have work tomorrow. And I really might stay up all night reacting to the album. I might stay up all night reacting to the album. Drop in I don't know how long. I don't I don't know if I looked at the track list or anything. I forget how many songs it is, but gonna probably stay up all night reacting to the whole album and either schedule them for uh every day you get a reaction or maybe i'll do um like react to two in one video that is a possibility let me know down in the comments what you would prefer um i like the format of doing um you know a song every single day i really like that format because it just to me it makes it a lot more organized and you guys can find it a lot easier and let's say you guys don't want to see my reaction to a certain song you don't have to like watch it you don't have to sit and wait for that or not wait but you don't have to sit and watch it you can just like be like oh i really want to hear this song so i'm just going to react to that one if that makes sense to you guys makes sense to me but anyways i really enjoyed this album um you guys have been going bananas have been going bananas the past couple months and yeah it finally paid off i think i'm really happy that I uh, finally reacted to it. I'm finally, you know, on this journey. And it's, it's weird, too, because this feels like my first, like, completed project yet on YouTube. Um, I don't I, I mentioned this, like, a couple times before, but um, I, I wanted to create a reaction channel for a really long time prior to i started like in december i think december 4th 2019 was my first reaction video that i released december 4th and it was a reaction to nf and then my second reaction was to eden and you know everything just you know kind of popped off from there and i was like really surprised and how quickly i was like getting subscribers and, and views and i know um you know i don't have the biggest following but i feel like you know I have some day ones in here, Eclipse, Willow, Mako, Dr. Hendrix, uh, 
you know, I'm probably missing out on a bunch of names, but those are just the a cash. Um, but those are just the names that come to mind. I'm sure I'm missing out on a couple, but yeah, this just feels like the first completed project and, and it feels like real to me. And there's like so many things are going to be lining up and I'm just really excited about it. I hope you guys are too. And thank you guys so much for all the support and just, just being along for the journey, being along for the ride. That's kept me motivated. I was really sad when I got sick because it kind of ruins my scheduling for a reaction to this album. I didn't post for six days. I was sick for like legit like two weeks, two and a half weeks, like really sick. I couldn't even like speak half the time because my voice was just gone. Um, so that kind of like put a damper on things. You guys were missing out on videos and there's a lot like of things that I need to react to. Leave those down in the comments and yeah, but I'm finally back. I'm really excited about no future and changes. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this whole album reaction. You guys are the best. See you guys next time. Peace out.